This is Optimal Startup Daily, episode 58, Why I Finally Quit My Job, and Eight Life Lessons I Learned in the Process, part two, by Steve Chu of MyWifeQuitHerJob.com. And I'm Dan, I'm your host here. I read to you every single day to help you optimize your life and learn more about entrepreneurship. Hope you had a great and safe Thanksgiving yesterday if you're listening to the show in real time. This is actually a continuation post from our Thanksgiving Day episode. Uh, That was episode 57. So if you haven't heard that one yet, check it out and then come back here for part two. So if you are all caught up, let's hear part two and continue optimizing your life. Why I Finally Quit My Job and Eight Life Lessons I Learned in the Process. Part two by Steve Chu of MyWifeQuitHerJob.com. Do something different and better. Do not follow. While I love the opportunities that Amazon has presented to us in the e-commerce space, I found that there are way too many people out there just throwing up Me Too products online. Go on Alibaba. Find a product that has a decent profit margin. Import said product as is with no changes. List the product on Amazon and make short-term money. While this formula does in fact work right now, it's definitely not a good long-term strategy. If you sell stuff and don't make it your own, it's just a matter of time until someone will find the exact same vendor and copy you. So instead of throwing up a bunch of easy to source products, take some time to design a better mousetrap. Take some time to create your own design or to provide a value add that no one else is providing. Do something different and don't follow everyone else. The same principle holds true with all of the how-to advice on selling online that is circulating around the web. If you follow the same rules for niche research and sourcing as everyone else, you'll end up selling the exact same products as everyone else. So take all of the guidelines and strategies you learn with a grain of salt and find your own path. The best way to succeed is to care about others. First off, I want to emphasize that it's impossible to run a successful business in a vacuum. Your ability to achieve your goals will largely be dependent on your network and your ability to work with others. That's why I'm such a huge believer in attending conferences. Even though I have two kids and run four businesses, I still find the time to travel to four to five conferences every year. In fact, none of my businesses would have taken off had I not put myself out there to meet other like-minded entrepreneurs. But establishing new contacts at networking events is only half the battle. If you truly want to foster lifelong relationships with your peers, you have to care. What does it mean to care? It means being willing to help without expecting anything in return. It means trying to get to know someone personally instead of treating them as a resource. It means delving deeply beneath the surface of small talk. If you want to grow your business, start by helping others first and let reciprocity take its course. Be bold and amazing and people will seek you out. I spent the first half of my blogging career as a complete unknown and no one gave me the time of day. Why? It's because my content was pretty bad and I focused on quantity over quality. I wrote middle-of-the-road pieces that regurgitated what other entrepreneurial blogs were already writing about. In fact, it wasn't until I started writing more personal posts that people started taking notice. I started expressing my opinions more and incorporating my personality into my writing. In short, I stopped caring about pleasing everybody and just let the words flow. So today, I try to be different and write whatever comes to my mind instead of the watered-down fluff that a lot of other entrepreneurial blogs put out. And whenever I reach out to influencers with larger audiences than my own, I usually go all out and take a few risks. Here's an example of an email I wrote to Tony Horton of P90X to make myself more memorable. Editor's note, if you aren't familiar with Tony Horton, he created P90X, which is one of the best-selling workout videos of all time. Quote, Hey Tony and Shauna, awesome interview today. Unfortunately, as a podcaster, I'm forced to perform extensive due diligence on all of my guests, and here's what I uncovered after just a tiny bit of Googling. Shauna, you were incredible in helping arrange the interview but I'm not sure that I can air the episode in light of the following scandal. See press release below. Sincerely, Steve. Tony Horton caught in junk food scandal. Fitness career over. Brentwood, California, April 1st, 2015. PR Newswire. Tony Horton, the award-winning creator of the home exercise hit P90X, was spotted today on an epic junk food binge. Tony, pictured, was photographed chomping down on McDonald's french fries in a room littered with dirty junk food wrappers. Judging by the amount of trash in the room, Experts estimate that he'd been consuming filth for approximately four weeks. First, I gave up carbs. Then I stopped eating sugar. And enough was enough, Tony was quoted as saying as he shoved a handful of fries into his mouth. His fitness career over, Tony was last spotted trying out for the Chippendales Senior Citizen Tour. 
Maintaining an impeccable body and being a role model for men's health was too much for Tony, which just goes to show that even well-known fitness stars don't always have their act together. About Tony Horton Fitness. Tony Horton's mission is to help millions of people stay in shape and eat right. His next book, Eating Like is due to hit bookstores later this year, end quote. The moral of this story is to be bold, stand out, and don't fear the consequences. Let your personality shine and stop playing it safe. The difference between success and failure is just a decision to keep trying. This last lesson is definitely a cliche, but it's the most important lesson of them all. When I first started my blog, I had zero readers for over a year. In fact, it took me well over three years to generate any sort of meaningful income. If I had given up early, I would have missed out on making $700,000 last year. When I first launched my online store, I had very little sales for the first month. My wife and I wanted to give up and call it a day. But we kept with it and managed to replace my wife's salary in a single year. The key to succeeding in business is not to give up at the first roadblock, or the second, or the third. Give yourself a three to five year time horizon and understand that it's a marathon and not a sprint. You just listened to the post titled, Why I Finally Quit My Job and Eight Life Lessons I Learned in the Process by Steve Chu of MyWifeQuitHerJob.com. And now, I'm sure you know how the cryptocurrency world can be confusing. So how do you get involved? If you're looking to diversify your portfolio with new, innovative investments, check out BitTrust IRA. Crypto assets could be the best opportunity to build generational wealth since the discovery of oil. In fact, Bitcoin has been one of the best performing assets of 2020. BitTrust IRA helps you add cryptocurrency to your portfolio both seamlessly and securely, and it's super secure. BitTrust IRA stores your private keys in nuclear bunkers with military-grade encryption. And it's easy to use. They have a 24-7 trading platform with no minimum investments and unlimited trades, plus a team to help guide you along the way if you have any questions, and with the lowest trading fees in the industry. Go to bittrustira.com slash OSD today to learn more. And for a limited time, BitTrust IRA is waiving the sign-up fee for OSD listeners, a $50 value. That's bittrustira.com slash OSD. B-I-T-T-R-U-S-T-I-R-A dot com slash OSD. And I have that linked in this episode's description. And thank you again to Steve. And uh, one thing I didn't mention yesterday when I was telling you more about him is that he also started his own podcast. It's called the My Wife Quit Her Job Podcast with Steve Chu. It's all about entrepreneurs who quit their jobs to start successful online businesses. Through a series of personal interviews, Steve uncovers the exact strategies that led to their success. Again, that's called the My Wife Quit Her Job Podcast with Steve Chu, and you can find it wherever you get your podcasts. And that'll do it for another edition of Optimal Startup Daily. Hope you enjoyed today's post and thank you so much for being here and for being a subscriber to the show too. Enjoy the rest of your day and I'm gonna see you back here over the weekend where your optimal life awaits.